So today I'm working on an annotated bibliography and I wanted to show you the basics page setup to get started and then I'll show you an example of one. Right now I'm using Microsoft Word Office 365. These are the apps. You have Word, PowerPoint, SharePoint, Outlook, OneDrive, Excel, OneNote, and Teams. I'm working in Microsoft Word. I'm going to click back out. So let's get started here on the page for your font name. What I am using is Times New Romans. You're going to select change that there. And I'm using a font size of 12 point right now. In order to set up your spacing, you go to paragraph options and you're going to use a double line spacing there with a don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. You have to check that off, press OK and that'll give you the basic setup. Now, it is a little bit more when you're doing the citation under spacing, you go back into paragraph options and you're going to use hanging indentation under special. Right now, I'm not needing that until I get started. So then now what I'm needing to do here is check my page number set up for the pages. We're going to use this one here that'll give you your name and uh, page number to the top right hand side now right here i'm just typing name but that's where you will actually put your last name and then this right here will enter the page numbers for you now you're going to highlight that as well because my professor requested that we set that up at the same font as the paper so it's times new roman 12 point setup and, and and you're there so that'll come out Eventually, when you preview the page or get ready to print the page, your page numbers will be numbered. So let me show you an example of the format here for the annotated bibliography. This is an MLA format. And so just pay attention to um, what format you are assigned. And this is MLA format once again. And right here you have your name. Everything is double spaced with no spaces in between because that's how we set up the, the spacing that was needed for this. Now, right here, you're going to start an annotated bibliography with your heading and your title centered. You're going to start with a citation. And I'll have to post a different video for citations, but this is a citation setup. Then you start your paragraphs. You have three paragraphs, and then another citation setup is, is in between right here where it says Catherine, Carter Catherine. So right here's another citation. You do another three paragraphs. And that's just a quick example of an annotated bibliography that you can use. Of course, follow the, the setup uh, page setup instructions that you are assigned. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope this helps.